Hey, hey, welcome to another Money Today. So we're talking about Hyperledger Avalon and Simba Chain. Show me the money. Now that may not be very exciting to get started, but uh, okay, I'll give you a little excitement. Uh, Hyperledger Avalon is going to be linked to Ethereum and Chainlink. <laughs> and uh, Simba Chain is going to be linked to Ethereum Stellar, Quant, uh, R3, or Corda, which is XDC. Oh, I, I like money. So let's get started all of this, and I'll show you. And these are huge. These projects are huge. And uh, these are the things that you don't see on most channels because they're not specific to a coin. But a lot of people are just missing the boat on this because... As I've said so many times, and anybody who watches this channel just is probably sick of hearing it, but it's so important. The Linux Foundation and Enterprise Ethereum Alliance are at the heart of everything, especially the Linux Foundation. And I'll show you once again, they're creating the standards. It's just like the creation of the internet, right? It was based on standards. So everybody that creates on it will have a framework in which to use to create. And whoever creates those standards is in charge of everything. And it seems to me that the Linux Foundation, and let's go through those members again, so you can see who is the members of the Linux Foundation. I would say, at first I would say they're a direct arm of the U.S. government. But when you get look at it, you know, would it make more sense to say the U.S. government and made maybe all governments are arms of the Linux Foundation or the people who are behind it? I mean, look at these tech companies. They pretty much rule the entire world right now. Uh, in fact, I can't even make this video without their permission. Maybe if they're directly connected to everything, it would be really great to pay attention to that. And not only pay attention to that, figure out which coins are connected to that. So let's go down this a little bit. Uh, I saw this uh, post today and it said nothing new, but to confirm that Hyperledger Avalon and TS Systems are using Chainlink oracles. Now, I'm invested in Chainlink, have been for quite some time, and I still a uh, dollar cost average every time I get some money. It just seems to be part of a lot of things, and this is no exception. Now, Hyperledger Avalon, I've never really talked about here on the channel. So let's go into that a little bit. Hyperledger Avalon. Some of you may know it as Trusted Compute Framework. Now, all of a sudden, that rings up some bells for me, doesn't it? And it may be you if you've watched this channel before. So the Confidential Computing Consortium. Now, I want you to take a look at these names. Now, is there anything that you think would be confidential with these, this group of people? Do you think they really care about confidentiality? Maybe for themselves. But I just want you to keep a, a, you know, an eye on that. This is a worldwide group of the largest Intel corporations coming together and saying, hey, we're, we're going to be this trusted unit. So let's, uh, here's a Hyperledger Avalon at a glance. So, so what Hyperledger Avalon does uh, is uh, it helps to uh, securely move some of the blockchain processing which we do, which we typically is done on the main chain uh, to an off-chain components um, uh, to some kind of dedicated computing resources uh, which will be running off-chain, right? And this would enable a couple of things uh, like uh, improved uh, blockchain throughput and scalability. Um, it also helps to improve the transaction privacy and also helps in use cases like uh, uh, attested oracles, uh, right? So oracles are, uh, uh, it's like the trusted reporters of data, which is kind of generated outside the blockchain and then feed into the, fed into the blockchain. So uh, so, so these are the, some of the uh, advantages of um, um, using Hyperledger Avalon because it provides you a framework to do uh, off-chain transactions in a secure manner. And if you look at it, it is like one of the broadly uh, sponsored projects under Hyperledger. Uh, you ha we have almost like 16 sponsors uh, for this project right now. 
Okay, I hope you can understand what he's saying, but I think you get the gist. You could even read it. But as you can see, Chainlink is one of the sponsors, so we can bet that they're going to be part of it. And it's Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, so you can bet Ethereum is going to be part of that. So this is why I put that right. These are the two coins that would be linked to Hyperledger Avalon. I just wanted to give you guys, uh, you know, keep it on this guy, Michael J. Reed, just for later news. Not only is he the blockchain program director for Intel, he's a member of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance and a board member on the Linux Foundation's Hyperledger project. So pretty connected to everything. So it's probably a good thing to remember his name. And if you go down through this Hyperledger Avalon, you can see a couple of use cases of what they're talking about. OpenVINO is a machine learning based computer vision tool based on trained models. It can detect objects in an image or a video stream. And then you could also use it for hospital patient management where the hospital you know, can keep your information confidential and then still put it on the blockchain. And we're going to see that a similarity with SimbaChain when we get to that. So we know that the Linux Foundation is working with DARPA, which is the Defense Department of the United States. So if we keep that in mind when we talk about this Avalon, and we keep in mind that the members of the Confidential Computing Consortium and the Linux Foundation are the entire world's tech, not the United States. So the Defense Department is working hand-in-hand -hand with the entire world's intel. And we're going to get into a little bit of more of that when we talk about Simba Chain. So here's Simba Chain, awarded one of the very first DARPA Small Business Innovation Research Contracts for Blockchain on Secure Messaging. Now, DARPA, you should just Google it and look it up. I mean, they basically created the internet and uh, Google Maps and pretty much most of the things that we know of today came from the Defense Department through DARPA. And as they go on with Simba Chain, the rest is history. They went on and continue to build solutions for the Dep Department of Energy, United States Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps, all utilizing Hyperledger fabric. Many of these solutions are around supply chain traceability, provenance, risk mitigation, sustainability, and life cycle management. So as you can see right there, Hyperledger Fabric at the center of everything, which is the Linux Foundation. So if they're doing all of these solutions for all of our, our military, might be something to pay attention to and to find out which blockchains are they talking about. So here's a little basics on SimbaChain. Okay, we're here with Joel Nidig from SimbaChain. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing in the space. We're focusing on enabling faster time to market of enterprise and government um, blockchain applications. So it basically, you know, their time to market and uh, kind of streamline that process. Okay, so prior to what you guys are offering, what were the, what were the obstacles or the barriers to entry for enterprise and, and government for, for utilizing blockchain in their existing systems? Most of their developers or the people within their organizations understand their business uh, logic and their, and their problem solution, but they don't understand the actual blockchain, but they want to use, harness the power of like non-repudiation and immutability and you know just the trust, the trustability that blockchain brings. So with those public-private partnerships, uh, there needs to be a usability and an easy user-friendly way to implement those applications. Excellent. How, how have you guys managed to, to do that? Our platform, uh, without any coding skills whatsoever, you can actually build your smart contracts and deploy them easily to um, Ethereum. And uh, we also offer a REST API that auto generates based on your smart contract. So it makes that connection. So then you can use like user-friendly tools like iOS or Android templates that we built on our API that we've open sourced and they can get started really easily. A couple of use, use cases for this. I had to get a laugh. I mean, some are basic, like we see all the time, tracking for solar energy, it costs insurance. But when it got down here to uh, account, uh, adding accountability to child support, I thought that was pretty interesting, and creating better housing records. 
And this is something that I've thought was coming for a long time is, you know, houses on the blockchain. It's basically going to be a car fax for houses. Now the government is, you know, the Defense Department is funding all this. So you can bet this is, has a pretty good chance of success. And if we look at uh, who is involved, well, we got Ethereum here. So if you were, say, wanting to invest in Simba Chain, they don't actually have a coin. But who are they going to be using? And, and through this, government, private, uh, public blockchains uh, are going to be used through Simba Chain. So what are the governments going to be using? And we see right here, Ethereum. Consistus Quorum, there's no coin for that. There is, but I mean, it's not uh, public. Uh, Stellar, so XLM. Uh, Avalanche, which I need to put my little thingy there. Uh, Quant is coming soon. So a lot of the familiar names we get here. Quant, Corda, so uh, XTC. DM, which hasn't come out yet. And that's only supposed to be a stable coin. So this is quite interesting. Hedera Hashgraph. Oh, and DM is uh, Libra, by the way, in case you didn't know. So HBAR, Hedera Hashgraph, and Cardano, ADA. So just to put all this together, I wanted you know, and I think I just showed you, Linux Foundation is at the center of this, along with the U.S. military, and with Hyperledger Avalon, of course, because Hyperle Hyperledger is Linux Foundation. So this is pretty important, and it's only expanding. And just to give you some context about how worldwide this is, and nobody talks about it, this is the only channel that I know of that even mentions this. And it kind of, why? You know, I, I really can't, I don't get it. Maybe because you don't get views for covering things like this. But Chinese Army's blockchain provider approved for new Hyperledger certification program. Only five companies are authorized Hyperledger certified service providers. Allowed to offer support, consulting, training, and professional services. The three U.S. members are IBM, Accenture, and Chainyard. While the two from China, Ant Financial, formerly known as Alibaba's Alipay, and Beijing PeerSafe Technology. So there's only five, and two of them are China. And this is the company that's working directly with our defense department. I just, I'm saying this to let you know that this is worldwide. This is global. And all the governments know about this and they could easily tell everybody, but they don't. They don't, they don't mention it. We'll say, oh, we're against China or China's against the United States. But yet they're all working together right in front of our faces. And once again, if you saw the Jim Breyer video, you realize he is funding. He's the first investor in Facebook. He's part of, you know, Blackstone. He created USDC. Yet he's funding AI in, you know, the United States and in China at the same time. And he created all, of, you know, their Google, their, their Facebook, their, you know, WeChat and, uh, you know, Baidu. So for us to try and anybody to try and say, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to stop China or China's going to stop the United States or the, this fake conflict that people talk about. It's right out in the open that everybody can see that they're working together. But for some reason, nobody talks about it. And uh, I'm sure that's for very good reason, but I'm, I don't see why not, so I'm talking about it. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. <laughs> And what does that mean? You know, I can see for investing and things like that, we can see, oh, well, these chains were likely to do well because they're, you know, hand in hand with the, uh, these governments and these huge, you know, tech companies. But what's beyond that? Can we think beyond that? And uh, or is it just too difficult? Anyways, uh, that's all I'm going to say for this one. We'll get into it more, of course. But I, I want your comments. I want your thoughts on all this. All right. Love y'all.